guys, guess what? The Minecraft developers have fixed the Mali GPU shader crashes in this week's beta and preview, but it is not going to work for all of you. One of the Minecraft developers had this to say about it. I actually tweeted saying thank you for fixing it, and they said it won't solve it for all Mali users. Many Mali devices are still below the spec we need to run today, but a lot more devices should still be unlocked today. In brackets, like maybe one slash third slash one fourth of all Mali devices. I am going to leave a download link for the shaders in the description. Make sure you go and check it out and see if shaders is working for you this week. Just so you guys are aware, the Mali GPU fix is in version 1.20.40. Point twenty two. To test this, you are going to need this resource pack or any form of shaders, and you need to make sure you turn on the Render Dragon features for creators. This features the deferred rendering pipeline, which is shaders. Starting with this week's features and bug fixes. Starting with blocks. Fixed a bug where the wrong side of signs would sometimes be edited. We have a bug report. This has been an issue in all of these Minecraft versions right here and was reported back in March of 2023. If we scroll down, this person right here, they are facing the front on the side, but it says, oh my gosh, and this is actually going on the back of the sign, not the front of the sign, because as you can see, oh my gosh, it's not on the front. So just for reference here, if you are front facing and you tap on it, you are going to be editing the front. Now, this person was standing probably about here. And what it would do is begin to edit the back. Now, if we just go around a little bit more, we tap on this. You can see we're still facing the front. As soon as we go past here, we are now focusing on the back. And we can put hello, YouTube, like, and subscribe. And if we go around the back, you can actually see it right there. But yeah, so the facing here is no longer going to edit the back. They fixed an extremely rare bug where 0.000003% chance that could cause item frames to not drop their item when hit or destroyed. Any of you guys ever experienced this? Let me know in the comments section. Moving on to education toggle. Fixed a bug where closing the game while having the portfolio open would result in a crash. Game rules. Change the default game rule value of respawn radius to 10. So from my understanding, if we do forward slash game rule and we do, I think it's spawn radius. It's this one. So by default, it's 10. And this is all to do with you spawning within 10 blocks of that spawn location. So if I was to do forward slash game rule and we do spawn radius and we set this to one and I just kill myself real quick here forward slash game mode s and i just die real oh darn it come on come on just gonna kill myself real quick jump off here there you go i died i should always spawn on this block right here now to test this i'm gonna change my game mode i'm gonna go to creative i'm gonna move over here it should it should be the exact same location again if we change this to survival and i die I'm always going to spawn on this block right here. I think it was the exact same one. So if I was to go ahead and change this to like, I don't know, like, let's do like 50 blocks. All right. That means I should spawn within 50 blocks of this location. But what they're saying is by default, it's 10 blocks. So by default, I'm going to spawn within 10 blocks of this location. So what I am going to do is change my game mode to creative here. I'm going to do a couple of tests here. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to quickly change my game mode to survival on it i'm just gonna have to kill myself one more time taking a hot bath i've died and as you can see i've definitely not spawned within 10 blocks i've definitely spawned within 50 so by default this command in your minecraft world will be set to 10 moving on to game play it says goat horns can now be heard up to 256 blocks away we have a bug report. As mentioned on the bug report, Goat Horn has a very short sound range with other players. Been an issue in a lot of versions. 
I can see 1.18 there, 1.19, 1.20 was reported over a year ago. I actually really like this change, especially if you play with coordinates off or you play service and realms. I could do this and my friend who's all the way over the sides of that mountain would actually hear this sound right here. I think that's a really, really cool change. Gotons just became a little bit more useful. Changes with mobs. Focusing on the camels. Camels no longer appear to slide when walking. Camels no longer move their legs when standing still. Camels no longer dash indefinitely when in lava. We have a bug report. Once again, reported quite some time ago. There is a, a gameplay clip right here. So this person is going to dash the camel into lava and get off. And you can see the poor camel panicking for its life and trying to run on lava. So focusing on the other changes right here. When a camel used to walk on Bedrock Edition, it looked like it was sliding like this. It just looked like it was sliding across the floor. So they have fixed that. Also, they would be uh, moving their legs when they're standing still. Now, a couple of things that we've been talking about recently. And I don't know if this is intended, but if we get inside of the water real quick, right? Uh, one of the changes they made is you cannot dash in water when you're on a camel. Now, as you can see, my charge and dash meter has gone down. And I'm waiting a little bit of time here. If we get out of the water, the camel instantly dashes. Surely that's got to be a bug. Anyway, if you dash into here, poor camel's fighting for his life. Um, he's no longer going to be flapping his legs. Poor camel. One change this week with the user interface, auto-completing text now moves the carrot to the end of the line. Vanilla Java parity. Iron golems and snow golems now have a crumbling like particle effect when they are created. Okay, so we're going to test this out. Snow golem first. And what I am going to do is just like place him down. Doesn't work when it's with a spawn egg. But if you do it with blocks, they now... Ha oh, that's that's not what I want to do. They now have a crumbling effect. Didn't know that wasn't a thing on Minecraft Bedrock. It's now been added. If you like to make mob farms and grinders, listen to this. Flowing lava and water mixing mechanics now match Java Edition. We have a bug report. A very long time requested fix. This was reported back in 2019. Basically, water and lava on bedrock edition they kind of wouldn't overlap obviously if you do this on java it creates cobblestone this actually never happens for minecraft bedrock edition now we do have a video down here and i'm gonna basically recreate what this person has done right here placing down the lava it's gonna flow into this glass little box here place down water right there and you'll notice that um it doesn't interact with the lava at all. And I think that's to do with the flowing issue. So like I said, I went ahead and created this exact same thing over here. So this person puts lava there and obviously lava looks for a gap. So it's going to go down here. Now you notice that this person went ahead and tried to place it on there. As you've just seen, it now creates cobble. Now I know like tier based, like let's have a little look at this real quick. I know like tier based farms that use like this design right here. Um, that uses flowing lava. Uh, had issues on Bedrock Edition and stuff like that. Like, I don't even know what I'm doing right now. But let's just place this down here. Um, there's, like, problems with this. So this should technically create, like, cobble. There you go. It does. It creates the cobble, uh, as you guys can see. So, yeah, that's a, a really, really big change for Minecraft Bedrock Edition farms. Another change includes witches now target players within a 16-block distance. Okay, so what I am going to do... This might take me a minute to do this. Place down the witch there. Go to forward slash game mode S and go all the way back. This is 17. This is 16. I'm just going to go a little bit further in here. Come on, witchy witchy. Come on. Do, do you see me? You, you definitely see me, witch. Come on. <laughs> I mean, this is like the right amount of blocks. Nope. Witch doesn't seem to be interested. There you go. That. No, still not interested. I, I had to get a little bit closer there. Okay, let's try this one more time. Something just didn't seem to add up there. I'm going to try it the other way. Just so you guys are aware, we put this down here. I'm going to change. I'm going to stand on here, which is 17. Survival. We're going to go in one by one. I mean, apparently they're meant to see me, but like this witch definitely can see me. 
right? Could definitely see me. Hmm. Maybe that needs a little bit more tweaking, but according to the change log, they can see you within 16 blocks. Moving on to experimental technical API, stability and performance. It said fix the crash on certain Android devices, for example, Mali GPUs, while loading into worlds with the deferred technical preview enabled. Let's read the bug report. A lot of people reported this. So again, it's not going to fix it for everyone who is using a Mali GPU, but it's going to fix it for a bunch of you. So we just skip ahead here. This person is going to turn on the deferred technical preview. And when they do, their game is going to crash. I'm just going to take them back to their homepage. One more thing to be noted, though. They disabled the deferred technical preview on some Android devices that don't support our current requirements for compute shaders. And then in brackets, it says GL underscore max underscore compute underscore work underscore group underscore invocations and then equals 256. So yeah, if you have this latest beta and preview and you do not see deferred technical preview, unfortunately, you are not going to make the cuts for shaders. Your device is just going to be too outdated. Last thing we need to check out is the technical updates. But one more thing before we do that, like I said, there is a link down below so you can download the shaders to see if this is going to work for you or not. Once again, quite a few changes with the technical update side. The API has received some huge changes and the developers are really pushing the modding side of Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Editor mode, it's still not complete entities and much more. If you're interested in the technical side, the link's down below. Anyway, if you made it this far in today's video, do me a favor and leave a comment down below and just say, hey Echo, I think uh -huh. witches are a little bit broken. Have a wonderful day and let me know if Shaders works for you or not in the comment section below. Hey, you can now book me on Cameo. Link is down below.